Hello, lovely viewers. We are back for another Just Look vlog. I'm Marissa. I'm Selena. And today we are talking about, what are we talking about? Um, healthy adult and youth interactions. This is super relevant for us because we are a youth-focused nonprofit. Um, and we do interact with youth. We have been youth before as well. Also, yes, <laughs> that. Um, and it's relevant, right? Because they're intergenerationally... Um, there are conflicts, I feel like, between youth and older folks. Um, I feel like it's a dynamic that really needs to be talked about because in some ways it's super unhealthy. Mm -hmm. um, for instance, there's this whole trope um, of respect your elders. And of course we wanna be respectful of our elders, but then there's also like this expectation that you will respect your elders even when they're not respecting you, mm -hmm. um, specifically for youth. Um, and I feel like it's wrong because I wasn't taught that way. I wasn't taught that I have to respect my elders even if they're disrespecting me. I was taught that we all deserve respect. Um, and that's also what I'm teaching my daughter and I feel like that is something that we should be employing across the board um, to give respect to folks, period, regardless of their age. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like when we say healthy adult and youth interaction, um, a lot of that like for me and you know when it comes to abundance of hope it's always mental mental physical and emotional so healthy is it mental mentally healthy is it physically healthy is it um emotionally healthy this interaction that you know adults have with youth and this mm -hmm. can be you know um youth and their caregivers who are often adults yep. you know youth and people who are in positions of powers over them you know their teachers yep. their coaches like what interactions are you know you having with the youth that you know uh look up to you frankly mm -hmm. you know yeah. there's always a power dynamic in any interaction between a youth and an adult and i feel like that 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 um power dynamic has a responsibility attached to it that is on the shoulders of the adult absolutely you are the one in the who is in control ultimately in these interactions and it's on us the adults to make sure that these interactions that we're having with youth are appropriate are healthy are respectful yeah it actually makes me think about um how kind of last year and this year there was really a slew of what we saw of like um youth being um physically abused or attacked by like their teachers and stuff mm -hmm. I, in fact i saw a couple of videos of that um and clearly not not healthy right but mm -hmm. for me it makes me think about what dynamic did that teacher and that student have that led to this mm -hmm. you know this part okay this yeah now situation. i know what you're talking about because for a moment i was like <laughs> No, I don't understand that. Yeah, but, but yes, these videos. Yeah, the videos in that the have... schools where it's like a uh, youth is like getting in the face of you know their teacher mm -hmm. or what have you. For me, something you would expect a youth to do test test the boundaries. Mm -hmm. You know, they're gonna see how far they can push, what have you. Um, and then the teacher will like you know snap and like punch them or attack them. And the comments, the comments the are comments what were are concerning astounding. for me. Astounding, exactly. Mm -hmm. Because we'll also not. So first, that dynamic is astounding for me too. Because whether it is, because I've seen both. I've seen mm -hmm. the student physically assault the teacher, and I've seen the teacher physically assault the student. Mm -hmm. So um, for me, I'm like. What is the dynamic between them? For the youth that's assaulting their teacher, who is their, you know, this is a leadership position, mm -hmm. so they should be having some respect in that. And mm -hmm. obviously it should be mutual. Like, what is the dynamic w between that youth and the other adults in his life? Is that normal for them to be yeah. assaulting each other? Or, you know, that, mm -hmm. what have you. And then on the... um the teacher in where they're assaulting that youth what is their dynamic with other youth why mm -hmm. do they think that it's okay for why do they think they need to physically punish this youth? Right. because even in punishments and negative consequences there are other ways to do it yeah and for me the comments are concerning because a lot of the time and um for me it's different the comments are always different you know in something that's not related to race it's always different depending on the race of the child and the teacher um mm -hmm. because for the ones that i saw and it'll be like, you know, a black youth. Um, and even regardless of the race of the teacher, like if they're, if a black youth is getting hands put on them, the comments are like, oh, they a badass. You know, they're probably mm -hmm. doing this, that. Their the parents should have done better. Mm -hmm. Where their if parents If I was at. their parent, I would come and inflict more, more violence, violence on this child. And I'm just like, 
this yeah. normalized violence it's and always super. normalized against a black child so yeah. for me like that was the thing that i was taking away from it this this just expectations of violence on these children mm. these black That's children super profound and then, because for me it's like it's profound because it's like are not only are they already experiencing violence but the only thing is that they should because should have more experience violence. more violence and then i'm thinking then what is teaching that child that they shouldn't be fighting their teacher right exactly <laughs> like that. also you saying like the race of the child that mm -hmm. makes me think about the most recent video that i saw of like an officer removing a girl from um some bleachers mm -hmm. did you see that video it wasn't the person um, not wearing a mask yes yeah um the comments on that were actually quite different it wasn't oh she should have been met with violence it was all condemnation of that adult oh he that was, was in the um being too aggressive some people questioned if he was a security guard or not mm -hmm. and i think for the video and i just want to clarify for you was it where it was a white woman and then it was like a black security mm -hmm. officer yep. yeah yep. that's and they're on the bleachers yeah. yeah and it was a black man security officer people were like and then there was even someone who went up in the video and was like going over to like intervene on behalf of this woman who's literally putting everyone and herself in danger yeah so it was just like yeah absolutely 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 um and for me i don't even know if i was a youth i think that was an adult and another adult but um, oh okay i thought she was yeah young. it wasn't clear to me you know? yeah she could have been like 30 she could have been like 15. that's what i'm saying uh, so i'm not i don't know but um for those other ones i do know because it was a school setting exactly so just to back back up um these are adults it's a school setting so the environment like mm -hmm. what kind of environment are we breeding why why is this so normalized that again there's never a they shouldn't be fighting like i saw right. people there's um a thing too where like oh if an adult has um, enough negative interactions with a child then you know all bets are off yep mm -hmm. yeah because that's a problem child or whatever mm -hmm. but then we know often black youth get labeled as problem children not even thinking about their at-home circumstances yes, or yes, what they're going through any yes, kind of trauma, trauma or any of that absolutely so um and that's black girls black boys black non-binary gender queer black youth you know like mm -hmm. all LGBTQ. black youth are getting put under this scrutiny where um for me, it's like, what is this child learning in these interactions, right? right? Because well, also, we're adults and these are youth. For me, adults' positions over youth, yes, we have power. Our position is to teach, to assist, absolutely. to help them navigate. And it's different, you know? right? Mm -hmm. It's different when some random adult are on the street assaulting you and your teacher who's supposed to be here uh, teaching you life skills and education and giving you a safe, stable learning environment mm -hmm. is physically attacking you. Like, you know what I mean? That yes. like, they should be above that. Right. When and you're then, in that, you're hold, held to a different standard than some random ass person. Right. The and then for me, it's like, even in the instances where like, yeah, um, where youth attack an adult, for me, it's like, you're again a teacher what are your de-escalation skills what has happened to lead up to this moment and how could if a youth is feeling aggressive if a youth is feeling angry if a youth is feeling sad mad what have you how can we create an outlet a healthy outlet exactly. for these emotions to be expressed because yes. we're not robots think about adolescence mm -hmm. you're there's a surge of hormones mm -hmm. you are changing you're noticing things about the world that you never even noticed before you're finding your place in it there's all these things happening you're being told that you need to be more responsible but then mm -hmm. also you still have all these restrictions and right. people telling you what to do at all and the people time. making decisions for making your decisions life. for you and all this mm -hmm. stuff and also assuming that you don't know what you want for your life or you don't know you know where you're trying to go which i found is not true for a lot of you yeah um so like i forgot what my point even was but literally <laughs> <laughs> don't know next point have healthier uh, interactions with youth and adults and when yeah. you're in positions where you should be providing um education and support and a safety net and, and a healthy atmosphere then mm -hmm. you need to be providing that and we do need to be considering all those things. Oh, yes, that was my point. Youth are going through all of these things at one time. Of course, they're going to be ornery. Of course, they're going to have lack of patience. Mm -hmm. Of course, they're going to be quick to pop off. Like, we need to be considering these things. Whereas an adult, 
your frontal lobe is developed mm -hmm. so you know right from wrong yeah. you've got more skills for conflict resolution mm -hmm. you ha should have more emotional intelligence you know what i mean you're so, able to process what's happening around you a little exactly. bit better so mm -hmm. you should be in a position and to better handle associated with it these kids are not stricter. thinking about the consequences because of they're harsher teacher. for an adult than for mm -hmm. a youth you know what i mean mm -hmm. so for me it's like knowing that you are equipped with way more skills at this time than this youth you should have more understanding. You should have more compassion. You sure should have more patience. Mm -hmm. You should have more emotional intelligence to deal with a situation like that where you have a youth that's aggressive. Because obviously as a, a teacher or whatever in a position, you're not necessarily here to be attacked by a child yeah, or a youth, whether it's verbally, physically, that. or whatever. Mm -hmm. But also acknowledge your position and acknowledge how you could be shaping this youth life and their adulthood in that interaction absolutely yes 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 yes